Hello everybody, I hope you're feeling magical today. Today we're talking about magic mushrooms, psilocybin. They are so beautiful and magical and mind altering and life changing. They really have the ability to open up your mind to allow you to see a different perspective of life, of your life and change your life all right so in this video we're going to be talking about microdosing psilocybin what are the benefits and how do you do it before we get into it i do want to say that i am not encouraging anyone to do psychedelics of any form this video is for educational purposes only please make sure to do your own research and learn for yourself what you choose to do beyond this video is on you, not me. Again, this is educational purposes only. Although magic mushrooms have been studied for actually years and years and years and years, there is published work out there from a lot of psychonauts that have been putting in a lot of work into all of this. Like you may be familiar with some of these people. Shout out to them, you know what I mean? Moving forward with psychedelics. But basically, some of this information is not all the way scientifically proven. I will say that I personally have experimented on myself by microdosing for a very long time. So I'm going to speak from my own experience in this video, as well as things that I have found through articles or other research. As of now, psilocybin is not legal in a lot of parts of the world, actually. Quite unfortunately, because mushrooms grow in nature. They come from the earth, straight out of mama earth. <laughs> so it's kind of weird that the government has to put so many regulations amongst nature. Like it grows, like mushrooms grow on cow manure. Like. They're pretty weird, but you know, when you grow them at home, you're basically imitating nature. Like you know, you're providing an environment for them that imitates nature. If you're lucky, if you're blessed, then you'll get a result. Magic mushrooms are not new. Like they've been around for ages and ages. Our ancestors utilized psilocybin to alter their minds. This book, I'm not done reading it yet actually, but Food of the Gods. You have probably heard me talk about this book if you follow me here on my YouTube channel. But basically this goes into the history of psilocybin and how our ancestors used them to really move forward with language and basically it really changed humanity honestly and over the years all of these regulations started to come into play like mushrooms might have been popping like in the 60s when the hippies were getting into it and such but that's not when they came about you know what i mean like they've been around actually during that era, I believe that the government was actually using psilocybin and a lot of other drugs. Anyways, I don't want to get into a rabbit hole. Let's get into the benefits of microdosing psilocybin. Uh, apart from this book, it says, No one yet understands the mysterious intelligence within plants or the implications of the idea that nature communicates in a basic chemical language that is unconscious but profound. We do not yet understand how hallucinogens transform the message in the unconscious into revelations beheld by the conscious mind. It's magical, let's say. Today I'm actually gonna read off of some of this book that I created, okay? What is microdosing, right? You need to know what microdosing is first. So microdosing involves taking roughly one-tenth the trip dose of psychedelic drug in amount too little to trigger hallucinations but enough to sharpen the mind psilocybin microdosers according to research reports that the mushrooms can increase creativity calm anxiety decrease the need for caffeine and reduce depression the scientific interest is driven in part by numerous reports over the years that psilocybin might have antidepressant or anti-anxiety effects that might guide the development of better psychiatric drugs. 
It seems to improve two forms of thinking that underlie creativity. The first is convergent thinking. It's the ability to focus on abstract concepts to identify a single solution to a well-defined problem. Divergent thinking which requires mending mental forays and mental flexibility. Psychologists consider both to be ingredients of creativity. Whatever the dose, psilocybin binds to receptors for the neurotransmitter serotonin. The cortex is packed with receptors, especially in areas that control reflection, imagination, and introspection. So a standard microdose is from 150 and 300 milligrams. This is around 0.2 to 0.3 grams. Each strain and even each batch will have some variations. You can always take more, but you can't take less. If you know, you know. Remember, you can always take more, but you cannot take less. So if you are a beginner, it is always best to start with a small dose. And this is why microdosis is also so amazing because you get to find that dosage that really suits you. You should always start small and work your way up to what you feel therapeutic. Some people that try microdosing for the first time to treat mood or mental health disorders may not be aware that psychedelics work a little differently than the typical antidepressant or anti-anxiety medications, which can sometimes numb or blunt your emotions. Microdosing psychedelics are more like a therapeutic tool, not a magic bullet or band-aid to fix all of your problems. Most people need to work on themselves and set their intentions for positive change. Microdosing psychedelics can act more like the catalyst to help up the changes when combined with these things. Some people have found they struggle with suppressed emotions that come up or their mood and emotions can be intensified. Some people may not know how best to deal with them or always have a therapist or someone to talk to and integrate what they are experiencing while microdosing. How can microdosing help you? All right, so those who microdose report a range of benefits. All right, so benefits. Microdosing may help with any of the following depression, anxiety, addiction, parenting, relationships, exercise, migraines, cluster headaches, other benefits, sharpens all of your senses, may boost certain skills or abilities, improves overall well-being, may help build confidence, improve sleep quality. I myself, I'm not a parent yet, but I can see how it can really help you because again, of that heightened sensitivity, you're able to feel more, to be more present, to cry if you need to, to laugh if you want to. And I could really see how it would help with that because if you are parenting, I'm sure it's so stressful to have to to be a guide to this little human being, you know? Amongst all the other things that you have in your life. So being able to really see and really feel, it's so, so beautiful. Like I could definitely see how microdosing would help people with soft parenting or what do they call it? Gentle parenting, <laughs> because you'd probably be more in this like joyful, pleasant kind of state and you wouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. If, like I said, if you need to cry, you cry. And if you wanna laugh and be more childlike with your children, then I can definitely see that happening. And again, microdosing is not a magic cure. It is a tool. Do not expect breakthroughs with your microdose journey without any hard work. And you might be thinking like, hard work, what do you mean? Well, you are consuming this medicine, right? It's like when you take herbs, like the best way for herbs to do what they're supposed to and impact your body positively, like you have to take care of yourself. Like you can't be eating a bunch of shitty food and not prioritizing your health, yet you're consuming like herbal supplements and such and expecting 
yourself to be all healthy it's similar to that you get what i'm saying like if you're not putting in the time to have a spiritual practice or a practice of whatever kind fits you um, it could be meditating it could be doing breath work going on a walk journaling just taking time to be then this may not work for you because you're not fully integrating what the mushrooms are here to guide you through all right so here i have some of the most commonly noted benefits of microdosing and then i'm going to go a little more in depth and share some of my own personal experience and what i have experienced throughout my journey first we have the benefit of gaining improved focus concentration and mindfulness which may boost creative facilities another benefit may be improved mood optimism and life appreciation reduces symptoms of anxiety and depression such as stress and cognitive behavioral therapy and helps with addiction withdrawal so these are all kind of similar to the ones that i just read and how it could really help you with a lot of these mental disorders, you can say. A lot of these nervous system blockages that we experience, because in this world that we live in today, like with social media, with electronics, with technology advancing every single day, it's like we're always having to be stimulated in some form, you know what I mean? So <clears throat> not just that, but just like our day-to-day -day of being a human being on planet Earth, it could be stressful. Like we all go through stress and maybe even depression. Like we've all been there, you know what I mean? So it's just life sometimes can be a lot, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying that you need psychedelics to, to be at peace with yourself because you don't, you really don't. You can implement other practices in your life if you desire, if that's what you feel called to. But if you are someone who is feeling called to work with plant medicine, and I say plant medicine, although mushrooms are fungi, I like to consider them as plant medicine from the earth if you are feeling called to work with this medicine it's really important that you set the intention for why you want to do it so psilocybin i like to think of how life-changing a large dose on psilocybin can be and how it could literally change your whole life for me if you've tapped into some of my really old videos like years old you know that i was so raw and sharing my experience of when i had an ego death on them on a really large dose and to be honest like those experiences with really large doses serve their purpose like truly i don't really consume magic mushrooms in a large dose anymore like i used to but i follow and I listen to my body and what I'm feeling called to, you know, because when I do feel called to, then I'll make it the intention to really set the environment, the vibe, the energy, what I consume that day, everything, everything, because I know what I have learned from my past experiences, my trips, that they have shown me so much that it's almost like why I don't need to continue to do it you know what i mean it's like that saying like when you pick up the phone and you, you how does it go you know what i'm talking about and you get the message then you hang up you get what i'm saying like that's how i feel and that's why i believe and i'm a huge advocate for magic mushrooms because i do believe that you can have one or a couple let's just say one life changing trip and with this whole psychedelic therapy that is being readily available little by little, step by step with all these laws, I do believe that like having one therapy session with, with a guy, with a trusted person can change your life, especially if you're someone who suffers from things such as PTSD, like severe mental kind of disorders or you know what I mean? Like severe things in your life or trauma, just shit that you've gone through, like severe heavy shit. 
it could really alter your life because those trips can take you magic mushrooms can take you to places like you can't even imagine you can't even fathom especially if you've never experienced them my experience with other psychedelics they're all so different but i will never doubt the power of psilocybin like they're incredible and so i like to think of a large trip like a huge dose right and how life altering that is right so now imagine taking a really small micro dose that's literally what it is a small dose of that consecutively so you have to be committed to your journey whether it be only 30 days or 60 days or even longer than that like you have to commit to it in order to see the results i would say that the two major things that microdosing has brought to my life is number one creativity number two is awareness you know if i had to kind of box a lot of things in merge them all into one like awareness and creativity like no doubt creativity for sure when i microdose and i'm feeling creative it boosts my creativity it allows me to be present with my craft it allows me to kind of like it feels like i could pull ideas and take action upon those ideas it allows me to be more in in like this creative flow where it feels like everything is a flow those chocolate bars they all come from just ideas that they just come they just come to me when i'm in a flow and my partner and i execute those ideas very very well together and i think that microdosing does play a part in that because that is part of my creativity and how i show that to the world right even making videos like this i'm able to be more present in what i'm here to do and share with the world the beautiful thing is that it's such a small amount that it's not going to have you tripping especially when you're creative it's going to have you present locked in focused that's another thing that's why i said creativity because it really helps with your focus and your concentration, your mindfulness. Being present is such a gift. If you're able to be present, and being present is such a gift. And so yeah, microdosing also does improve your mood and your optimism. It's like, it's like a little boost. It makes you feel better, it makes you feel good. It allows you to tap into your emotions. And I know a lot of the times that feels like that's not what you should be doing. It's different than, you know, those antidepressant drugs, pharmaceutical drugs because a lot of those really suppress your emotions and what you're feeling instead of allowing them to flow out of you. When you take a large dose of psilocybin, if you have experienced this, then you know that your emotions may pour out. And this is why it's so important to have a guide, whether it be someone that you love, you really trust, or like a professional, because you may experience an overflow, an overwhelming, emotions pour out of you because remember that our body stores everything like the body keeps the score you know so if you always hold on to all this shit it's inside of you but mushrooms allow you to release to release and to feel so now imagine a really small dose it's still going to do that but in a really small scale like some things may be enhanced. You go, go out in nature and you, you might feel one with the trees or the plants or the wind or the sun. Everything may feel like blissful. You might enjoy being in the moment more. I remember uh, being at the park and it just like, I felt like the trees were dancing and the wind was so peaceful and calm you know what i'm saying so optimism and life appreciation for sure Gr gratitude is another huge thing i know that when i microdose i am super grateful i already when i don't microdose i love to express gratitude to say it in my mind or out loud or i write it down 
and on a micro it's like yeah i'm super grateful i'm so thankful for life for this moment and it really brings forth this awareness like, you know, sometimes when you start to become aware of your body and it starts to feel really weird, like you start to be aware of your existence and it's like, what, what am I? Who am I? You know, but it's like in a good way. It's like, okay, I'm here. I'm, I'm beautiful. I'm divine. I'm present. The awareness that it brings forth is just so beautiful and so peaceful. Being in this space can really allow you to be you, to tune into yourself, to feel what you're feeling, what you need to feel. Maybe some past memories or trauma might come up. It may allow you to be able to communicate in your relationships more because I know for me it does, honestly. Microdosing has really helped me become closer to my family because that is something that I really struggled with and if I have like a family reunion or something if I microdose it's amazing I get to be present with everybody and again I'm not saying that I can't do this sober but obviously I'm sharing the benefits of microdosing so this is why in the book I shared that it may help with parenting and relationships because again, it allows you to be so present and so grateful and to be in the moment and to acknowledge what's in your life. Sharpens all of your senses, yes indeed, because mushrooms really enhance all of your senses, your hearing, your visuals, your maybe even your smell maybe your taste, but definitely your visuals and your hearing, for sure. Helps build confidence. Yeah, I could definitely see how microdosing helps build your confidence because again, you allow yourself to be with yourself, to tune in with yourself, to appreciate your beautiful beingness, who you are, what you came here to be. That's another thing that it may connect you to your purpose and what you're here to do because it brings forth that presence, that gratitude. Connecting to your purpose means that you allow yourself space to create whatever it is that you love. It could be whatever, but it's something that you're passionate about, right? It may be your purpose. And so creating that space for yourself to just be is beautiful as well. Mushrooms will always show you what you need. So if you cry on a microdose, if you're feeling extra emotional, then that's beautiful. It's what you needed. So remember that depression often means that you're stuck in the past, right? And anxiety means that you're stuck in the future, like you're anxious and stressed about the future, right? And these things can create stress in your life and all other kinds of shit. But if you're present with yourself, and in gratitude and in appreciation of life, that's gonna put you in a whole different state. Instead of being depressed and doing depressing things, instead of being anxious and being stuck in this low vibrational worry all the time, bringing yourself to the present moment in itself is life changing. And this is what microdosing may help you with. Another common thing is that it may help with addiction and addiction withdrawal. Shout out to all the customers who have shared their reviews and their experience with these beautiful organic mushrooms. I've heard many, many people share with us that microdosing has helped with their addictions with PTSD, with depression, and with addiction specifically. Again, it's like the same thing that I just shared. Like, when you dose this, it feels like you don't need anything else. It could be like your, your awareness is so heightened that you could be so focused on something else. Like if you're a heavy smoker, like myself, honestly, microdosing is not addictive. Magic mushrooms are not addictive, actually. Something like smoking weed, I find, could be more addicting. You get what I'm saying? Like personally, I could take a break from smoking at any moment that I want. Some days it could be hard, but if I really choose to, I could microdose and it's gonna feel like I don't I don't need to smoke. Like the microdose is enough. You get what I'm saying? 
much. I could also see how it could help with caffeine addiction. I'm a huge coffee drinker. I actually really enjoy coffee, but I recognize that it's not always good for me. So I love to take breaks and to just sip on some tea or microdose. And I find that I don't need coffee or caffeine. I feel like microdosing over a long period of time really does something to your brain. Like, it's gotta be building some neurotransmitters up there for, for sure. I, I'm gonna go further into some research here in a moment, but how could it not? I like to think of mushrooms in your brain working like mycelium. Have you ever seen beautiful beautiful mycelium growing it's like this network it's like this web of like mushroom roots growing like crazy that's how i like to think of it in your head like how it's working in your head over a long period of time everything that we consume affects our body so the way in which it affects your mind I feel like it makes you smarter. I feel like it really does. I feel like over time, it really changes you as a person in a good way. Some other benefits that have been noted from microdosing are the following. It may help with headaches, overall personal insights, learning a new language, elimination of PMS symptoms, help with working out more, improved workflow, eating healthier, improved sex life due to more energy or more closeness a decrease in drug use not just like hard drugs i mean like alcohol and caffeine may help with chronic pain as psilocybin might have some anti-inflammatory factors microdosing may also help with boring tasks they might become more enjoyable for example your typical work shift or picking out weeds doing the dishes cleaning may also increase the ability to have social interactions for me personally this is a huge one and it may also decrease negative chatter in your head so overall it may help you feel better and improve your mood so can microdosing really cure depression or anxiety or ptsd or anything along those lines in my opinion yes don't come at me on this one this is my opinion do your own research i do i will say yes because of everything that I just mentioned. And if you're depressed, you're most likely stuck in the past and you, you know, you need to work through that. You need to pull yourself out of that deep rest. If you're anxious, you're living too much in the future. So all in all, if you bring yourself to the present moment, your life is going to be better. All right, so let's take a look at the science behind all of the benefits of psilocybin. I will definitely link a very useful video that I found that dives into the science behind this. To sum it up, basically psilocybin may have something to do with neuroplasticity. In summary, this increases the brain's ability to adapt and change to new situations. And we can all see how that would be beneficial to some of us because you know, if we're so stuck in our ways, then we may need to see life through a different perspective. The medicine may change how we perceive the inside and the outside world. On not only when you're on psilocybin, but also afterwards, the lessons stay with you. So one thing I forgot to mention is that even on my off days of microdosing, I still feel the benefits. So microdosing is something that you would do that you would commit to over a long period of time. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, at least 30 days. Furthermore, psilocybin activates a subset of serotonin receptors in a very strong way, leading to neuroplasticity. So the actual cell biology and how neurocircuits work, they change over time in your brain. Also, psilocybin closely resembles serotonin. That in itself says so much. I highly recommend you dive into the video that I linked below that if you want to learn more about psilocybin and neuroplasticity. Another thing is that microdosing really brings things to the surface. 
This might be things about your relationship, things about yourself, things that you went through in your past, childhood trauma or trauma throughout life, maybe even past life. It's all trauma, you know what I mean? It's going to bring that to the surface. It, I love how subtle it is when you microdose. Something might come to mind. You might find yourself speaking out loud, using your throat chakra, expressing yourself how you feel, getting to the bottom of why you feel what you feel. Like it so subtly will bring up things maybe that happened and that you need to really heal from. And so if you allow yourself, if you allow them to guide you and do the work, and this is what I meant at the beginning, then yes, they could completely change your life. But if you're seeking the medicine for guidance and what you need for healing, they're definitely going to guide you. And this is why it's so important to have that intention before you consume them. Talk to them, journal about your journey, take the steps necessary to change your life. Here are some common things that you may feel when you're microdosing. You might feel joy, happy, content, uplifted, aware, talkative, more social, connectedness, heightened awareness again, emotions, sensitivity, gratefulness, compassion, focused, a boost of energy, productivity, present. So again, all of these connect to everything that I mentioned. Honestly, like feeling all these things, these are all high vibrational. They make you feel good. You know what I mean? And when you're in that space, take advantage of it. And that's why, again, have the intention. What, what do you want to do? Do you want to create? Do you want to be present? Do you just want to be? So I'm quoting someone that I found through my research and they said, that microdosing, think of it as this way. So think of your best day, you know, the most amazing day that you've had. Just an average normal day where you felt so damn good. And that's what microdosing helps you do more of often. It helps you feel more like yourself, your best version of yourself, because you're able to be more present with your day. And the more present that you are, the happier you are, because you cannot experience happiness in the past or the future. You can only experience it now. Overall, psilocybin really has the ability to alter your consciousness. If I had to sum it all up, I would say that they alter your consciousness. You are able to reach higher levels of consciousness, whether it be a large dose or microdosing a very small dose. That is the magic behind this medicine. I really hope that this video helped you in understanding the benefits of microdosing psilocybin. I shared some of my personal experiences. I truly feel like they have boosted my creativity and allowed me to be more confident in who I am and share what I'm here to share with the world. I would really love to hear how they have changed your life. What benefits do you experience? Do you have any questions? all of that make sure to comment below and also subscribe if you are new to the channel thank you so much for being here everybody i really appreciate you and i hope that you have a beautiful blessed day